Hey guys, so today I'll be giving you a detailed look at Halo Mega Box minifigures for Fall 2014. Halo Mega Box has been very successful in the past couple of years because of their minifigures, and now they've made, made them much better. They added new articulation in the elbows and the shoulders, giving you a very wide range of movement. Now people thought that it would be out of scale with the new articulation, like the COD figures were, but as you can see they are pretty much the same size, except for this guy's on a display stand and this guy's not. Now people thought that these would be uh, only with the Spartans, but now they are with all of the Unicy line for 2014, including the, the Spartans, the new Mombasa Police Department, and the Marines. And this new Mombasa Police Department officer, that which comes with the new police cruiser standoff, has the new circulation also. Now, they do seem a little bit bulky, which is because they have a new feature also, which can also be shared across the entire UNSC line including Numbasa Police Department, UNSC Spartans, and UNSC Marines. And that new feature is removable armor, which is because you can remove the shoulder pads from the figures. And both shoulder pads also do that, and you can clip them back on. The leg is a d little bit different. With this one, you actually have to take off the leg and actually slide the thing off. The cog piece actually re requires you to remove the torso from the hips or just split the spartan in half and then you can just slide on off. Last but not least for the removable armor, you can remove the torso which I think it's a little bit easier to remove the head first. You can actually just slip the things off and just place them wherever you want. Now under these armor is a fully detailed jumpsuit which I will get to in a minute. So here's the jumpsuit that I was talking about before and it is fully detailed with many different like imprints and it's black of course and unfortunately the way to remove this the forearms and the lower legs, or the shins, you actually have to remove it separately, which I would not re recommend that. And it's kind of hard to see since the jumpsuit is black, but he does have a peg hole in the back of his torso, which of course you can use for secondary weapon displacement. Here are some poses that you can do with some of the new fi minifigures with the new articulation, like such as this one, like being scared. Put his hand on his hips, being mad, questioning something, being very good at sniping. Like, look how close that is to the eyeball. And that's just amazing. Walking around, thinking. Just holding his gun. And notice T commanding a Unity Wombat, a Gunganeer Spartan reloading his pistol. With the Marines and new Mombasa Police Department figures, it's a little bit different with the movable armor with the torso. This one you actually have to, requires you to remove the head and it goes up from the top. Everything else is the same, like shoulder pads, a piece, and that's it. Since the figures are pretty much the same size, they can also interact with the older vehicles, which, like a mongoose or a warthog or a hornet, if you want, and with also the new vehicles, which will be coming out in the fall. So there's my detailed look at the fall of Halo Megavox 2014. Hopefully, if this line goes 
get really good results, then it'll hopefully go into the future with hopefully some new molds. I'd like to get my armor in Halo 4. Commando FRCT, uh, left shoulder uh, warrior matrix, right shoulder infiltrator python, chest protector drift, uh, forearms uh, outer plated web, uh, what's the next one? Legs, um, captured shard, and uh, visor cyan. So I hope you all enjoy this very detailed look and the didact says goodbye forever. See you guys next video.